Welcome to Sativa Sean's Stone Movie Review. Today we'll be reviewing Suicide Squad. Got Brentley T right here from Mary Gang and... From Brentley TV. Yes. Any user. If you're wondering why the camera is crooked, that it, is because it's being propped up by a shoe because we are in a very... Stupid spot. Rapey yeah. spot. Very rapey. Very rapey. Fog everywhere. Rape. Anyway. Anyway, so we went and seen um, Suicide Squad, and it was a really huge turnout at the uh, at the theater. Um, and uh, so we go in, and uh, we missed all the previews. Um, so we go in, and uh, there's a. Uh, so we go in, and the uh, beginning of the movie is pretty epic. It got me pretty excited. Introduces uh, all the characters, all the shows them in a really, really cool, you know, cool way. By the way, there's gonna be spoilers, but spoilers. Um, yeah, uh, and it shows you who you know who's uh, who, who you're dealing with in the movie. Um, and uh, as it's introducing the members of the team, you know, as Amanda Waller's like assembling her task force, it uh, shows like flashbacks of Batman. Like yeah, I had Batman uh, was in it, or taking them all down, arresting them. And uh, that was easily one of the best parts of the movie. So uh, we, get, we get introduced to uh, like Deadshot, Harley Quinn, uh, Killer Croc, we fucking all of them. Um, some I didn't even know, um, kind of that I wasn't really didn't really remember. Some I remembered from like an animated movie I'd seen, um, but but I mean I, I was digging most of the cast uh, of thing. I think uh, Will Smith was a cool. Was a uh, nice addition. Harley Quinn's actor, oh, yeah. actress, Margot Robbie. She was she great. Was, she was great. Um, the um, the black woman. Her actor was like perfect. Perfect. Oh, looked exactly uh, Amanda like, Waller. Yeah, she looked yeah. exactly like. Yeah, she's been in a couple others. She was in Man of Steel. And I, really? Or, I mean, she was in a not Man of Steel, but uh, Batman vs Superman, and she may have been in Man of Steel. I don't know. But the so like another huge name. Was Jared Leto playing his Joker, and I went. I remember when they. I remember thinking about it, and I was like, you know, they should have got an actual actor to play the Joker. I just remember saying that. I was like, yeah, we got this cool all star cat. I'm not really all star. I mean, but Jared Leto's I, been in a few movies. He was in Mr. Nobody. Yeah, he, he was in uh, Requiem for a Dream. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen that one. But at the same time, what is he? What is he first? He's a singer. Thirty seconds to Mars. You know, he's a singer. He's, um, it's not his first, it's not his first language, in a sense, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, when you have someone like Will Smith in the movie, too, uh, you start to see a contrast. Um, he wasn't like, um, he, he seemed sort of crazy, but he wasn't like, there's something gnats everywhere. He was he, more like, just gangster. <laughs> like, it, 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 this, this, this is, this is the Joker, he goes... If That's you, basically you, what he was. He always had his teeth showing, and he was just always just if doing you've a small. Ever seen that meme floating around? That has all the different Jokers. It's like, you know, the fucking '60s campy Jokers, like LSD, and then like uh, the, you know, yeah. Heath Ledger Jokers, heroin. Well, it had Jared Leto as meth, and I can see why. Like, cause he seemed like he was fucking tweaked out of his mind. He didn't seem. When he laughed, or no, when he talked, for the most part, he seemed like he was trying to rip off Heath Ledger's Joker. Yeah, it was Jared Leto pretending to be Heath Ledger pretending to be Joker. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it was it was it was Heath Ledger, or it was Jared Leto pretending to be the Joker, pretending to be Heath Ledger, pretending to be the Joker. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was correct. Another thing is, it seems like the plot went in circles. It kind of like. You're sitting there like, well, they could have easily avoided this. Yeah. It's like they assemble a team to beat something that was created because they assemb the team was assembled. Yeah, it was almost paradoxical. It's like, wait a minute. If she wasn't recruiting people, then Enchantress wouldn't have, like, got the artifact that she got from fucking Amanda Waller, which created her more powerful brother or whatever that fucking... They had to get sent in to, yeah. for, to defeat. 